Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to our channel TM Square. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are getting started with a brand new playlist of our channel where we'll be talking about the ISTQB Foundation sample questions discussion in detail. A lot of viewers came back to us and kept asking us like if there is a way by which we can understand each and every question in more detail which will give us complete understanding of what exactly the questions are, how exactly to tackle them, what are the key areas to concentrate on, is there something specific which we can observe to pick up the right answer and how exactly we uh, you know sometimes pull out those wrong options from the sequences given to us. So. A lot of people just fail because of having that lack of trimming out the unwanted things from the questions and the options and being sure about the right answer. Of course, as per you, every option which you select is correct. But is that really correct? That certainly matters. So being an a uh, student who's taking up the examination, it's very important for you to uh, make yourself more confident that are you really sure that whatever you picked up is actually the right answer which you have picked up, right? So this is where we want you to come up with the tutorial series where we give you the tips and tricks and that's the only way to do it is talking about those sample questions in more detail. And each of these questions will guide you well, help you understand how to tackle your sample questions, how to tackle your uh, the tips and tricks of uh, dealing with the examination questions and how to be more decisive at the right answer and of course to be more confident with your right answer. So. This tutorial is more of the introduction of this tutorial series that what we'll be talking about and for those who are coming new to it. So I always start from the scratch so that all our viewers, no matter if they're existing or they're new, they know everything right from the first tutorial. So the very first thing we'll be talking about here is of course the introduction to the ISTQB but I'll keep it lightweight because someone coming to this playlist certainly knows what is ISTQB and then he's looking forward or she's looking forward to the sample questions of it, right? So International Software Testing Qualification Board is a body which certainly certifies people from different countries across the world who are testing professionals. So if you are one among them, if you are a QA, you are a testing professional, then look forward to the certification. And this playlist is specifically to guide you with the sample questions discussion and help you to understand the tips, tricks, time management, a lot many other hidden information about the exam questions. Uh, certifications which currently are being offered by ISTQB are a lot. Of course, ISTQB has recently added a lot of new things. If you're new here, you would understand that Scale Agile at Leadership is a new certification being added. Of course, AI testing, which was just recently launched by ISTQB. So one or the other way, ISTQB is trending, ISTQB is updated, and they take care of all the latest technologies to be included in one among their certifications. So no matter what kind of testers you are, what kind of background you come from, we have got any one certification for you. So, however, wherever you belong, you can look forward to ISTQB to be globally certified and be well known for your practices or the work which you do on daily basis, right? So this is where you will be able to identify your skill set in a more better way and let the people know across the world that you are certified for what you do every day between 9 to 6 p.m. Of course, uh, these examinations certainly has a lot of other things. So as we're talking about the sample examination questions discussion here, of course, let us talk a little bit about what is the examination pattern. The examination does not have anything as a prerequisite. So even a person who is still in his final year graduation can take up this examination with having the right knowledge of testing as per the syllabus. No specific prerequisites and no specific knowledge required. Anyone can understand this and take up the examination. The exam type uh, will be objective. That means all are multiple choice questions. So you will have altogether 40 questions given to you in the examination and each question will carry four options where only and only one will be the right answer. So out of four options at any point of time, your right answer will be any one of them, not multiple selections. So we don't have any questions where they ask you to select multiple options as the right answer. So only one option will be right out of four options given to you. And there'll be altogether 40 questions. 
and each question carries four options and put together each question also carries one mark for each. So total of 40 marks for 40 questions and the passing criteria goes with 26% which is uh, this is sorry the 65% and 26 marks or more. So out of 40 you need to secure at least 26 to get certified with the certification at foundation level and uh, even 25 is considered as a fail. A lot of people came back to me that is there a reattempt? How many times I can reattempt this examination? So let me add here uh, the examination will have no limits on the reattempts, but certainly being a good instructor, I won't recommend you to look forward to reattempts and take up it in the very first attempt and go for it. Say that yes, I'm done in my very first attempt, and that gives you a lot of inspiration to take up again the next level of certifications. So there are no limit on the reattempts, so you can go ahead and take any number of reattempts till you pass. Uh, the other thing is, of course, the duration for this examination. So uh, there will be 60 minutes provided to you uh, across all countries to pass this examination. But there are a few countries where the primary language is not English. So if you are a person who belongs to a country where the national language is not English, or not a primary language, you'll get some additional 25% of time, which is around 15 minutes added to and over 60 minutes of time. So a uh, jackpot for a lot of those countries where primary language is not English, you will have 75 minutes to answer this examination. So make use of that very wisely and smartly. Uh, regarding the uh, location and venue, these days you have offline and online both examinations, so you can opt for it at your comfort. If you're comfortable with online, sitting it, you know, taking it right from your home, go ahead with that. But if you love to be in an environment where you feel like writing the examination, then go offline and visit your nearest center and apply for the examination. Moving forward, this particular tutorial series is all about foundation. So we'll be covering a lot of questions from these six chapters of the foundation syllabus. So the overall foundation syllabus consists of six chapters, where chapter one will be talking about fundamentals of testing, chapter two is testing throughout the software development life cycle, chapter three is static testing, chapter four is test techniques, chapter five is test management, and chapter six is tool support for testing. We do have a different playlist talking about these contents in detail, but this playlist is exclusively for examination questions. So we will not be talking about any of the content, but yes, Every time we hit a particular question, I'll be referring it back to the syllabus that where you can find the answer to this particular question, right? Finally, talking about the last thing here that what kind of questions you will be tackling as a part of this particular syllabus. So ISTQB recognizes each topic mentioned in the syllabus with a K level. And the K here stands for knowledge. Like it basically means what knowledge you need to have on a particular topic to answer an examination question. So we will be talking to you from the K levels as well. And generally in foundation, you have only K1, K2, K3, where K1 is more of definition specific, like to the point, what do you mean by a test case? What do you mean by a test condition? And K2 is understand, which is more of like elaboration. For example, unit testing can also be organized and conducted in these approaches, or white box testing includes these things or these are the test basis for unit testing. So no direct questions, but a lot of indirect interactions. K3 is more of apply, which is for specifically on the techniques and being a part of techniques like equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, you'll be given with a sample scenario and you will be asked to apply the technique and get the answer. So just knowing the definition or understanding the context will not help you get that one mark from that particular topic. So we will be talking about all these things in our discussions going forward in this playlist. So stay tuned for that. And the K4 is no longer as a part of foundation. So we don't have any K4 level question, which is more of like scenario driven question, real time. So we won't be having any of those uh, as a part of foundation. So as a part of this playlist, we will be covering all three standard mock papers, set A, set B, set C. And I'll be talking about every single question in these sets. So put together 40, 40, 40. You will have 120 questions in this playlist. So just be patient. There will be a lot of questions coming up here and we'll be breaking the you know uh, discussion into simple and 
kind of you know appropriate time-based tutorials so that you can at least look at a bunch of questions when you visit one particular tutorial. But yeah, we'll go chapter by chapter. We won't be mixing things so that you are sequentially aligned and you can also judge that what questions are from which chapter. So if you have any suggestions, drop them below. If you have any comments to you know add more value to this playlist, please let us know right here so that I can tune in and add more value to this playlist for all of you. So with that, I close this particular introduction session and we'll be getting back to you with the very first tutorial the very next day on this. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to assist you, guide you well and make you understand with all the concepts. Feel free to reach me and let me know. And if you have anything else, feel you know, free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.